good. Adrian, just overall, first of all, as a team, how would you describe the way that you guys have been playing here over the last couple of weeks? Never quit. Um, you know, the guys are always in there every inning, ready to go, ready to hit, and ready to play defense. Guys are coming in out of the bullpen, throwing the ball well. Starters are throwing the ball well. So, you know, there's just no give up in the team right now. And, you know, they're playing hard and, you know, ready to ready to come in and play every day. How would you feel overall about your outing tonight? Uh, better. Definitely, uh, you know, upset about the block. I don't want to have those, get those eliminated, but felt, felt a lot better to get some things ironed out and, you know, trying to get this locked in right now. What things were you trying to iron out? Uh, just some mechanical stuff. Just felt like I wasn't able to get into the backside as much. It was, was uh, losing a little below, was losing a little command out, and so we worked on that this week and was able to, you know, kind of get some things tinkered a little bit and kind of get, get the leg left a little higher and help out and iron some things out. Adrian, when you guys were only five, a lot of guys were on the screen and said, oh, we'll get hot, we'll get hot, but this is a long season. To what extent did you expect it maybe to happen as quickly as it did? Uh, I mean, it's baseball, so you, you can expect it to happen at any time. You know, once once somebody gets hot, somebody feeds off that, and I think that's what everybody's doing. You know, somebody's going out having a good game, and then somebody else is coming in following that up, or, you know, somebody's picking, picking somebody up or coming in helping out, so. I think it's you know it's part of baseball. It's part of the journey, part of the roller coaster that it, that it is. So you know it's it's great to be be going right now, and hopefully we can just keep it up, keep playing hard every day. When you look at what the starting rotation has done, you know you guys are missing a few guys, but a lot of zeros, a lot of innings with the whole rotation. Talk about what the whole has been doing. Yeah, you know everybody's been throwing the ball great and been coming in every day ready to ready to attack and ready to you know help the team win as much as possible. So I think everybody's taking care of their business and coming in every day ready ready to go and be locked in. And you know, I think everybody is just just ready to play every day. DJ, hey, what's uh, what's been the biggest difference for you here over this last little stretch where you started to get the the big hits versus the very beginning of the season? Um. I think I'm relaxed a little bit more. Um, Mindy tells me every day to smile. Um, I think you could see that I was stressing out a little bit, um, just kind of everything that's gone on um, beginning of the season. But relaxed, um, getting good work, um, talking to my teammates. Um, like I said before, Nemo and Francisco, watching their cage work and asking them questions of why they're doing stuff and seeing if it can help me. And I put some of that into my early work, and it's working out right now. How much are you anticipating going into the game in that spot and, and preparing for that specific moment? Yeah, um, I think everyone on our team, if we're not starting, we know that there's a chance that we could pitch it or come in defensively. Um, uh, we preach everyone being ready. Um, didn't know if it was going to happen in that situation. I was in the cage getting ready, came out like I normally do for that inning, and um, then he told me if they made the switch, it was going to be my opportunity, and we could pitch a drive and he gave it to me. Yeah, chatting about how close were some of those pitches? He seemed pretty upset. Um, I mean, umpire meant to call. Um, they're balls. If he calls them balls, um, I don't really worry about that. Pitch hit barrels. Can't teach it, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, facing a lefty like that is obviously really tough. If you look at that, what is there anything specific here? Yeah, um, I've actually faced him quite a few times um, in my time in Baltimore. Um, I haven't had much success off of him. I don't think many people do. Um, that's why he's been so successful his whole career. Um, I had a plan um, of what I was looking for. Um, he didn't really give me the one that I was looking for to hit. And fortunately, draw well. Yeah. I guess your, your kind of ride has been a little bit symbolic of the team. You kind of struggled early, and then you know you're starting to find your rhythm. I guess what's what's it been like just witnessing kind of number of guys like yourself being able to kind of get up and you know dust yourself off and kind of find some rhythm out there. Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, not really just for me, it's the team. Um, like we started 0-5 and, and now we're 500. Um, we're never going to give up. We're going to keep pushing every single day. And we're, we're a close-knit group in this clubhouse. And everyone else can doubt us all they want. But we know what we have in here. And we're happy with what we have. So we're going to keep going. Is being back to 500 almost feel like a step or almost like a Slate in a way? Not really. I didn't even know that was the case until after the game um, when they said it. But I mean, yeah, it's great to be there now, but we don't want to be 500. We want to be way above that. So keep going, keep pushing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, I mean, you know, that's something that's just really important to uh, really not take whatever's happened, good or bad, from the past into the you know, your next opportunity. Um, you know, I just I really try to focus on the positives. Uh, and there's just so many positives that I'm you know, constantly surrounded by. Uh, I'm just extremely grateful for all that was on that too. So, and I focus solely on those things, uh, playing this game, doing my work. It comes, comes a lot easier, so you know, I'm, I'm always having fun with this. Which feels better, a line drive double or a chop to like IDSA, or are they the same? Yeah, listen, any way to get it done for your team to, to push a run across in a situation. Um, you know, they all feel great. Obviously, the double is, is very you know, cool. I mean, I have a tremendous amount of respect for trapping stuff. Um, just thinking small, um, just trying to be light, and just, again, just trying to put a good swing on the ball to, uh, to help my team. And, and so I'm just grateful that it worked out for us um, tonight, and we're just going to keep that. Uh, positive momentum that we're continuing to build um, night in and night out. Can you figure out why things have turned around so quickly for you guys? You know, listen, I, I've always said, you know, you, you have to approach this game, you know, as if, like, it's just like a straight line almost, you know. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, if, if you play the game pitch to pitch, um, taking all of the factors that might be external out of it, um, and you just focus on the task at hand, and what's directly in front of you that pitch, whether you're on offense, defense, on the base bats, um, Everything slows down. Um, and I guess the long-winded answer to your question would be the biggest shift has just been we're slowing everything down um, on all sides of the baseball. And we're picking our spots. Um, you know, guys are preparing underneath, but they're getting called on by Mendy to come up. And as you can see by DJ, I mean, he's ready for his pitch. So, you know, if we're doing that and we're just focusing on those things, um, you know, listen, we're going to be dangerous. We've got to continue to prove it night in and night out. So tonight was a good example of that. I know we're all going to get our rest and look forward to tomorrow. Is it hard for you to put all that out of your head each pitch and each at bat when you Yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of practice at it so far. Um, you know, I've, I've learned from the best in my career, which I'm really grateful for. Um, and I just try to emulate their, their mentality. You know, we all have different skill sets from a physical standpoint. Um, but what players at this level do share in common a lot at times is, is their mentality and their approach to the game. Um, so just trusting in that wholeheartedly, um, I've learned to, to do that better as my career has gone on. Um, and even within a game and not in it, I just try to slow it down. Um, and believe that I'm gonna get another opportunity regardless of the previous one to, to help this team win. So, you know, again, when you focus on those small things, uh, it slows down and you have an opportunity to do something good for your team, which is all that matters. Speaking of your approach, does your short time being teammates with Chapman and playing behind him, does that prepare you at all for an event like that tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I knew from center field he was, he was really good stuff. So uh, that's all you kind of need to know to, to formulate your approach. You know, he, he changed his mechanics a little bit with the way he was delivering the ball. Um, he popped me there with that first strike. And, you know, you learn really quickly when you're in the box what you're up against with a guy like that and the stuff he has, which for years has been tremendous. So. Again, I was just trying to take a, sh a short swing to the ball um, and just play with, with, with what's in front of me. Um, and I'm just happy that I got to finish the hand off my team. That's all it comes down to. Does the run of success you guys have had in the post games give you guys at least any more confidence when you guys are kind of down in there, um, you know, late in the game? You know, again, I think we proved to ourselves um, in Atlanta. I mean, every single game, you know, Every single game, whether it's the first of the year or the last of the year on playoffs, I mean, you, you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about the game situation, and, and you dig deep. And I think the first few games of this year, we learned a lot about ourselves. And, 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 and I think we proved ourselves that, uh, you know, regardless of the score, we can play our game and chip away. Um, and I think tonight's just another example of that. Um, you know, we're facing a lot of talent every single night on the other side there, and we know what they got. Um, so just reeling it all in, knowing that we're going to stay in the pocket, pick our spots, and when we do, we're going to do it with authority. I think is really important, um, you know, for for driving driving our uh, you know successful season um, and, and what we're trying to accomplish, here, which is just doing good work night in and night out. So um, and that was a great example of that. Um, and I know we're going to keep the focus and do what we can to, to replicate that tomorrow. All right. The last two years as you've gone to different teams, has it taken a while no matter how much you try to settle in? not try to do too much and show the teammates who Yeah, you know, I've said this before. I think there was a, there's a lot of power in walking into a clubhouse, not not uh, not having the guys in the, in the locker room really know so, so much about you. I mean, they might you know, hear some stories about your personality. They might know your, your game, or they might look on base our reference and your members. But, you know, they really don't know much about you. I mean, we spend a lot of time together. So harnessing that power, knowing that every single day you get to show a, a side of yourself that people haven't seen, and you control that narrative. I think it's really important to, to focus on it. Um, 
you know, obviously have a lot of history with Pete, there's a lot of knowledge, but um, a lot of these guys don't, you know, I have a little history with Nundy, but at the end of the day, night day in and day out of the course of the long season, you learn a lot about guys, and waking up every day, coming to a clubhouse, there's a lot of power in knowing that you can, you can work your own narrative here, you support your work, your preparation, and then we're in the heat of battle, um, you know, how you respond to different things. So, you know, instead of using those things as uh, ways to kind of come outside of yourself, if you will, or try to do too much, actually try to flip it on its head and just use it as a strength of mine and know that everything with regards to preparation, how I respond, and how hard I play the game is all in my favor. And that's, uh, and that's serving pretty well and adjusting to new teams and new locker rooms. So, I'm just going to continue down that path and be myself. Um, and again, just do my best to to put a, a winning product for my teammates and my, you know, my organization. Did you take the time to learn that or did you feel that right away? Yeah, I think in the major leagues you don't really have a lot of time to wait around. You know, there's no time to wait around. Uh, you either get it or you don't. You either figure it out or you don't. Uh, and, you know, I want to be on the side of figuring it out. And I want to be on the side of wasting as little time as possible to go out there and again, put a winning product out there. So, again, leaning on my teammates night out, night out. Um, this is not a one-man show by any means. We do this together, our families help us, and uh, all the energy just goes in the right direction. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks for waiting.